So this video is a role play video for educational purposes and not a true counseling session. So, all right. So, Amy, tell me about yourself. My name is Amy Richardson, and I'm a student at Latona University, and I have two classes left before I start my student teaching, and I'm married, and I have one son, and I also work full time. Okay. Okay. So what brings you in today? I am struggling with um, stress and also time management, and I feel like I have probably about five to ten plates in the air, and they're all about to fall down. Okay. And I'm not giving 100% to anything. We're probably at maybe 15 to 20% on each thing. Okay. So. So explain to me, like, how does your week go? Like, so last week you had some struggles? So last week, which is, which is pretty much all my weeks, I finish a week on Sunday, but I immediately start my next week on Monday. So I definitely have an assignment due on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and then I'm really good about getting that one in, mm -hmm. and then I don't do anything on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because I... Uh, just pretend like it doesn't exist and mm -hmm. then I may have five things due on Sunday so I don't go to church mm -hmm. and I pretty much wake up Sunday morning and I'm maybe 11 o'clock 1130 before I'm everything's turned in by the midnight deadline so mm -hmm. no family time no church and there's lots of tears mm -hmm. and um, it's just all crammed it's all crammed into one day Okay. And I have all week to do it. Okay. So on the days, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that mm -hmm. you just kind of do nothing. I know you're still working. I do go to work, but I come home. I might just turn the TV on. Mm -hmm. I'm not really focused on the house. I do get dinner cooked and that cleaned up. But, you know, the housework, meh. Mm -hmm. Homework, meh. And that's about it. I just don't have the middle capacity. Okay. Because in the back of my mind, it's all brewing. I know it's coming to a head on Sunday. Okay. Okay. So, so how does that make you feel when you wait to last minute? To, like, so Sunday, when Sunday when Sunday starts and you're having to miss church um, to get all the homework that you've not done in the last, you know, few days. Um, okay. Honestly, I'm angry with myself. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed mm -hmm. of that behavior. I... I'm scared of it, mm -hmm. and just the most overwhelmed, like maybe can't even breathe sometimes, mm -hmm. and I do know that I'm doing it to myself, mm -hmm. but that doesn't make me correct it. Mm -hmm. I'm still, it's, I think it's because I don't really know how to do the assignment, and mm -hmm. so I wait to the last minute to kind of see what everybody else has done, mm -hmm. so maybe I can make sure my thought process and usually my thought process is correct, mm -hmm. but I don't have enough faith in myself that it is. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, I'll just wait till the last minute until I know I have to do it. Mm -hmm. I just don't have enough... Um, confidence, maybe? Yeah, no confidence. So when you said you were scared of it, you're more or less scared of getting, maybe turning homework in and it's maybe not right or... Yeah, I'm scared. I sit down and, and it's all these words that I know, but I, it's like my brain doesn't either process it or it's just I just shut down mm -hmm. but on Sundays it, it all starts clicking I guess because I know I have to do it I mean it's it's do or die at that time mm -hmm. and, and I will tell you legit there have been things that I have turned in and gotten a grade back for that mm -hmm. was a good grade mm -hmm. and I promise you I do not remember writing that paper mm -hmm. I know I did it mm -hmm. God may have put the words in my brain, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I do not remember. And I'm talking long papers. Mm -hmm. So So it's like you're super stressed at that point and it's like you just rise to the occasion to get it turned in as I, quickly as possible before like robot, the deadline? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a robot mode. I, I don't know how, how to explain it. Okay. So how does it make you feel? I mean, I know you get the job done, and so, but how does it make you feel when you're pushed in that you know, mm -hmm. like you're in that drive. Like you say you don't remember writing the paper even though you know you did it. And then you ended up getting a good grade for it. I definitely feel proud of the grade, but I feel like why in the world did I not, you know, start this sooner? You mm -hmm. know, because it's, it, it's, the knowledge is there for it, mm -hmm. but there's just something in me that's 
it just shuts, it, I just shut myself down. I'm like, I almost put myself in a cage or something where I'm just like, no, you're not good enough to even, you know, be in this class or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what's so bad is now that I'm almost done and I'm fixing to student teach, mm -hmm. I don't even think that I could, I just don't think I'm even going to be a good teacher. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, what was I thinking? That's, you know. It's a real feeling that you have, like you think that even though you've, you've completed your classes and you've done well in your classes and you've taken a test, to because don't you have to take a test to... There's two state tests that you have to pass and mm -hmm. I did both of them. And you passed both of them? I passed both of them. High five. <laughs> so Texas <laughs> says I'm a teacher, but... So you have the knowledge and you are smart and it sounds like you have like some negative thoughts that are preventing you from being successful yes. to be like you know your stuff. You yeah. can write your papers, you get good grades, you yeah. did you did your tests, you thought you did bad on tests and you succeeded above yes. and beyond. I thought I failed it. <laughs> and you and you've succeeded. And so and with that feeling that you succeeded and that you passed it, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? That grade that you got when you saw it? Honestly, it was probably the best feeling I've had since I can remember. Yeah. And right. I felt proud and relieved, but still shocked. Like, I know I studied. I know I put the time in. I have all the flashcards to prove it. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, no, I didn't pass that test. God God, ma God made it happen. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I tell that to, like, my mom, she's like, you know, God, yes, we prayed, but you did it. And that, my mind won't let me think like that. Do you think by chance somehow the grades just happened? Like yeah. almost like this, this, the answers just magically appeared, and you had nothing to do with it. Like the paper yeah. magically wrote itself, yeah. wrote itself, and you didn't have anything to do with it. I just can't let myself you, feel that I. You can't accept that success. Yeah. Okay. And so, let's talk a little bit about that. So, um, it seems like a lot of the negative, like in your mind, you've got this negative we'll just call it like a negative Nancy that's yeah. there. And so you have good intentions to get your homework done, I know. Like you plan to get like your schedule done. Like Wednesday you're going to get your yes. assignment done. You plan to try to get a little bit of your homework done each day so then you don't feel so stressed mm -hmm. where at least you could go to church on Sunday because faith right. is an issue. Like it, it means yes. something to you. And so, but right now because you push that negative Nancy keeps telling you that you're not good enough and that you're not mm -hmm. smart enough and you can't do this, it's hindering you and pushing you to do it at the last minute, which gives you these bad feelings. Yeah. And then you're pushed to get it done, and you get it done because you are smart and you are successful. And then, but it's just, it's hard for you to accept that success because you went through all of this drama to get right. to that point. Exactly. Um, so, what can we do about negative Nancy to help her She's pretty shut strong. her mouth? <laughs> She's pretty strong willed, <laughs> which is weird because I'm kind of like. I'm a super happy, bubbly person, mm -hmm. but um, that's just kind of surface level most of the time. Mm -hmm. Sh and, you know, I've always been like, I don't have a backbone, you know, I'm kind of soft-spoken, but negative Nancy is like the boss lady. She's and very she's loud, isn't very she? She's very loud and strong-willed. And obnoxious, right? She's obnoxious, yeah. And she wreaks havoc on your process of getting things done. She does, and it affects, you know, my husband too, because he is super positive, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, I'm just kind of like, he's like, you can do this, you know, why don't you go get your homework done, which makes me shut down even more, because I'm like, don't tell me what I should be doing, mm -hmm. and also shut up, shut up, go away, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I don't know how to quiet her. Okay, so She's been there forever. Forever, as long as you can remember? Or just since you've been in school, like this, this math, um, um with your... She's always been there. She's always been there, even like in high school days? She was there. She was there, always. All right, so what can we do for negative Nancy to get her to, I don't know, let's put her in a box <laughs> so we don't hear I from her. I do need to put her in a box. Maybe immediately start praying when I hear her voice. I, just like when I'm, you know, scared of something or I feel like, the devil's attacking, I just say, you know, in the name of Jesus, get behind me. I don't know if I could do that with her or not. Why not? Because she's you don't think part Jesus of could, me. <laughs> you don't think Jesus could take her down? <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> I guess because she's part of me. Yeah. Um, well, you know, Jesus is mighty big, and his name is mighty big. And so, um, he defeated death. Like, if he can conquer all the things and take our sins from us, I... I think he could take Nancy down. He can. He can. 
You just gotta believe that he can do that. I think sometimes I rely on her too, if that makes sense, just because she is stronger than me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's not stronger than you though. <laughs> so let's, let's like the success that you've had, she tried to just, it's kind of like, if you think about it in the, um, I always think about football. I know we're not early football people because we're kind of mm -hmm. early, but, um, you know, you always have the offense and the defense. And so she's, like, trying to, like, block you from making that goal. Mm -hmm. But yet somehow you get around her and you make the goal, right? right? And so by the grace of God, yes, but also because you're smart enough and you know the plays on how to get to that goal. Yeah. So, you know, even though she's going to block you, and in the football game they always have those, you know, defensive team that's blocking because they don't want you to make that goal and get across their line. But you can't let that stop you from, I mean, because you can't yes. let that stop your game. Like, you're smart. You have something you can contribute to the world. You can't let Nancy be blocking right. your goal. So, <clears throat> let's think of ways that we can defeat her in a way. She's going to be loud and she's mm -hmm. going to be annoying. I liked your idea how you said that you need to stop and pray right then mm -hmm. and in the name of Jesus. And I know you haven't done that yet, but that would be something good to incorporate, you know, as a homework to yes. work into that. But then also, just as a, a suggestion, because I know I've had issues kind of with, you know, self-defeating thoughts at times. And for me, um, listening to praise and worship music, because I okay. know, like, you know, your schedule is packed. You've got a full-time job. You've got a husband. You've got a son. You've got schooling, and mm -hmm. schooling takes up a lot of time. You've got reading. You've got assignments. You've got papers. You've got um, different things that you have to turn in at different times, and it's hard because sometimes it's like you go to work, you come home, you have to make dinner for your husband, you have to find yeah. time to, you know, get your homework done and to read, and sometimes you're just not into it. Yeah. Negative Nancy's in your ear telling you that you can't do it, you're not able to do it, and, and, and she paralyzes you to where mm -hmm. you can't do what you need to do. But, um, you know, you can take that moment, pray, or you can, you know, turn praise and worship music on when you're making dinner because that can pump you up. Like, the just listening, because sometimes you feel like, oh, I just can't, I don't feel like doing yeah. homework, I don't feel like praying, I just want to sit and be blah, like you said, those few days that yeah. towards the end of the week. And those are precious days because you're missing out on opportunities to get even little things done to where right. it's not so big at the end and you're crying and you're, mm -hmm. you know, very frustrated because Nancy has beaten you again. But, like, you have the power to take her down, yeah. and so does Jesus. So when you get, like, so I want you to think of things that you can do this upcoming week that can help you be more you and less Nancy. Okay. So what do you think that you could implement? Well, I did feel really good about myself on a class recently where I would get my discussions done on Monday, mm -hmm. whether I knew what they were talking about or not, I felt really good, but mm -hmm. I didn't stick with it. Mm -hmm. And so even though I started the week on a positive note and it felt really nice and mm -hmm. I felt encouragement, mm -hmm. I let it fizzle out. So maybe if I let myself do one thing, if not every day, at least maybe every other day, mm -hmm. maybe if I had some accountability, mm -hmm. because online is... It's kind of tough. It's, it's kind of tough plus. because you're. I mean, there's just a few days you have to be accountable, but it's not every day. So, right. I think I would do better with that, maybe. Okay. So Monday starts off your week. So what could you do on Monday? What's your first thing that you could do on Monday to get knocked off and checked off your list? Probably for me, especially to start it on a positive note, is do my devotional. That's a great opportunity. Yeah. Because what, what a way, yeah. what a better way to start your week than a devotional. Exactly, and you know. Probably, I know it would take a little bit more time, but like say I moved on to Tuesday, maybe read somebody, some other people's devotionals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't have to respond to devotionals like you mm -hmm. do interactives, mm -hmm. but maybe I would get some encouragement because I have noticed that some other people are in the same boat as me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And they go through the same struggles that you're not alone. And that does, I hate that they're going through that, but it does feel nice to know I'm not by myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because my husband is a student at a different university and he mm -hmm. does something every day. And probably by Thursday, he has the whole rest of the week and weekend free, and mm -hmm. he doesn't understand my hang-up, but mm -hmm. we're, you know, obviously... So y'all are the opposite. So he, wor he, he works his week really well to get his stuff done. He doesn't apparently have a negative Nancy in yeah. his ear, unfortunately, but then, which is good for him, but yeah. then you wait to the weekend, which it would be opportunity for you guys to spend time yes. together, because you guys are both off on the weekend, yes. right? And so, but you're sacrificing that time 
to get homework done, which if you would have done it during the week, you would have had that free opportunity. Exactly. And you'd be able to go to church. And I wouldn't maybe resent him for his... Diligence? His diligence. <laughs> <laughs> but I do... That's tough. It, uh, we have started going back to church, and I'm not willing to let that go again. That's good. So Sunday's just not an option for me anymore to get everything done. I mean, maybe one thing, mm -hmm. but as far as saving everything to the last minute, it's just not an option. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I think I have to start this next week with doing something, one thing at least every day. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I could write my assignments down on my dry erase board that mm -hmm. I have, and just mm -hmm. maybe if I see that I'm checking stuff off, I, it will make a difference. It'll make you feel better, especially if you're weak. If you've got, I don't know all the assignments that you have for the week, but you had a devotional. You said you had an interactive that's due Wednesday, and then I think you have follow up posts that you, you do. have to do. You have to respond to two people. It has to be on. It uh, can't all be on the same day. Mm -hmm. And then usually I have four to five assignments. One's usually a paper, mm -hmm. but right now since I'm so at the end, it's usually um, planning lessons. Mm -hmm. And then you have to take that same lesson and. Uh, make it for like differentiated learning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, it's I need to just grasp it because these are lessons that I can implement in the future. So mm -hmm. I need to t I need to just take ownership of my work and know that it's it's better than what I think it is it because is. I potentially could be using them one day. Is this your dream job? Yes, but I'm not sure. Okay. If I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. The state of Texas says you can do it. You passed a test. You passed two tests. And so you have this opportunity to be a great teacher. You can't let negative Nancy take you down because she, I would say it's kind of like the devil. The devil's trying to discourage you from doing something that God has called you to do. And like I, it's in your heart, I believe, to do right. this job. And I think since we started going back to church, like he is for really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> And he's really trying to get us. And the enemy attacks yeah. all the time. Yeah. So with that that we know that. So how can we? Like, so steps we said we're gonna pray in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna pray, and write my things down so that I can. If I'm the type that if I can visualize and actually check it off your check list. Check it off. I mean, I know that seems very simple, but. To me, if I see that check mark, I feel an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, I know you can mentally check off, but... No, no, no. It's great. You know how when yeah. people make to-do lists, like, they always have a ton of to-do lists. And some people get, they get fearful when they see so many things. And yeah. some people feel like, oh, I can do this. Like, let yeah. me just check it. And sometimes it's just, like, the easiest things to check off. Like, devotional. Like, it's, I say easy, but it's not, it doesn't require a lot of mind. It sometimes requires more heart to think of, you know, yes. how God is affecting you or how your week is going. Um... But then, you know, as you're checking things off, you're like, okay, I got that done. What else can I get done? Right. Okay, interactive. And even, I want you to challenge yourself to where, even if you feel like Nick and Nancy is telling you, you can't do this, you're not smart enough, I want you to do it, like, on a Tuesday. Like, yeah. instead of waiting till Wednesday, get that first interactive done. Even if you feel like, I don't think this is right, you know you can always go back and edit it and, like, That's change true. it up. That's but at true. least get your thoughts out there because you are smart. You know what you're doing because... You passed the test. Like you, right. like everything that you've turned in, you're just delaying your success because you're so afraid to take that first step. And like, you know it. Yeah. And the other thing too is you gotta think too is like when negative Nancy is like, you can't do this. You need to like, no girlfriend, I can do this. And then just kind of your shoulder, like shoulder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you're off your shoulder. But like, her. you can do this and be like, well, watch me. Just watch, you know, step back and watch me. And so when you accomplish it, it's done. And like, I would say. One of the good goals for you this upcoming week, and I know it might be a struggle because it will always weeks are a little bit tough and things happen, you know, mm -hmm. emergencies happen, but if you get your devotional done Monday, get your um, interactive done Tuesday, and then Wednesday normally would be your interactive, do one of your other interactives each day, yeah. so then your goal for Sunday is not to have any homework Sunday. So that day is like a day that you go to church, you thank God that you got everything done that day, or this week, this week has been a good week, he's been by you, and like even those days where you... Are feeling oh I can't do it today. Yeah. Stop. Take that moment. Maybe open up your Bible. Read a passage. Um, you know, there's the Philippians one that's like I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's there for you. He's yeah. not going to let you fail because he has faith that you were meant to do what he has set out for you to do. Yeah. yeah. Stephen keeps telling me that um, he didn't bring me this far t for me to fail now. And that is absolutely true. Because the light is definitely at the end of the tunnel. Yep. And don't let the devil defeat you. It's not. Yeah. I mean, he's going to try because that's what he does to God's children, but 
you're God's child. He's yeah. not going to let you fail. He's got you. Well, that definitely gives me some stuff to work on, for sure. Okay, and I think our time is up, so I will see you next time. Sounds okay. good.